This is Tim Apicho with What's On Your Mind Hawaii for Think Tech Hawaii. I'm here with Chris, Matt, and Oscar. And you're from where? Australia. 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 Okay, three generations. And the question is, did they get the text about the incoming ballistic missiles from the Hawaii State Emergency Management Center? Sure did. My uh, wife told me about it when I was in the shower and being somewhat of a fatalist. I said, well, by the time I get out and get dried, we're done and dusted. Matt, what did you hear? <laughs> yeah, I got the text coming through the phone and I just thought it was a unique sound to us because we're not used to getting those sorts of warnings at home. So we um, picked it up and had a look and then had a look outside and we couldn't see any fighter jets scrambling and there was nothing on the TV about it. So we thought, is it a hoax or is it real? Oscar, what were your thoughts? My thoughts were like, I thought... When we, I was there when the um, shark, I thought it was a shark alarm, but then I, my dad said, no, Oscar, it's a missile. And I'm like, what? Yep. Does it increase or decrease your faith in the uh, state of Hawaii and their ability to manage things properly? It increases it. My wife asked me, what do you think it means? And I thought to myself, it's probably Kim Jong-un firing a missile more sort of over the Pacific towards Hawaii instead of Korea or Japan. You do understand this was just a drill they put on by error? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do now, now, now that it's... it's do, you, do you think that was wise of them? No, because it said this is not a drill. And so being, you know, 17 floors up in a hotel, you're just standing there going, what the hell, where the hell do we go? That was our next, um, next thoughts is what do we do? Do we just stay away from the windows? What do you, what do, you do as a tourist? You were a fatalist, he said, and so what other fatalistic thoughts did you have? I thought it's a false alarm. I've been through so many false alarms around the world over many years of travel. Um, never yet has there been one that was genuine. So you weren't scared? Weren't, wasn't alarmed? No. I continued to um, think. Well, actually, I thought to myself, and I made a joke with my wife, I said, well, there goes our money for Captain Bob's uh, cruising and snorkeling picnic day. Oscar, did you have any thoughts? Were you, were you worried? Were you scared? Yep. Yes, but when I heard it was a Jill, I thought they were idiots. Do you think whoever brought this on, should they lose their job? Oh, yes. By mile, yes. Oh, it's probably a bit harsh to lose their jobs. But as, as tourists, it probably um, would be beneficial if you knew what to do or where to go if it was actual, actually genuine other than stay away from the windows. So you really had no idea where to go and how to go, go about it? No, not at all. I think um, people are so accustomed to having false alarms for a variety of things that sometimes you need to make it appear real to see if, if it will work. Often you'll find, for example, when they do the same with fire alarms, it's total chaos. And had it been a real fire, for example, you would have had hundreds of casualties. Because well, people don't know what to do. Well, that's a good perspective, but in this particular case, the text message said, this is not a drill. Well, as I said, being a fatalist, I was in the shower at the time, and I thought, well, it's all over and done with by the time I get out and get dried. All right. Well, you heard it from our, our neighbors and our friends from Australia. This is Tim Apicello for What's On Your Mind Hawaii for Think Tech Hawaii.